An ant colony is an island, an ecosystem insulated from the world and full of resources. Some organisms have evolved to exploit these systems. These insects who live their lives inside of an ant nest are known as myrmecophiles. Many myrmecophilic species are beetles, and most are rarely observed. Some of the most advanced are robe beetles in the subfamily Aleocarini in the tribe Lomecasini. The three robe beetle genera in the subtribe Lomecasina have been studied in detail for more than a century. While out doing field work last month, I collected this colony of carpenter ants. It has four of these beetles living in it. Now the U.S. species are less well studied in comparison to the European ones, but a lot of the biology and behavior is sort of shared across the group. And the really cool thing about these beetles is how they've completely integrated themselves as members of the colony. They enter into an ant nest by using a series of glands to chemically persuade the ants to adopt them. When first encountering an ant, a beetle meets any aggression with an upturned tip of its abdomen. This is the location of what's known as the appeasement gland complex. The secretions from this gland seem irresistible to the ants, who busily lick away while the beetle reaches back and taps the ant with its antennae. After this, the beetles grant the ants access to the sides of their abdomens, which are lined with tufts of hair emerging from a set of glands that are known as the adoption glands. The ants lick the secretions from these glands, and they grab the beetles by these tufts of hair and transport them into and around their nests. Once they're inside of the nest, the beetles take advantage of the ants' method of food sharing, mouth-to-mouth -mouth regurgitation, also known as trophallaxis. The beetle's mouth parts are thought to be specialized for stimulating food sharing. They coax the ants to feed them like they would their own larvae or nestmate adults. Unlike the ants, the beetles don't share any food back. Their existence in the nest is completely parasitic and predatory. When I look at these beetles, I'm amazed at how they interact and behave with the ants. I think they're an incredible reminder about how intricate and specialized organisms can be. If you're interested in reading more about these beetles, check out the two articles linked in the description below.